King Solomon says in verse 9, Kabid et Hashem me'onecha. Literally, this means you should honor God from your wealth, from your money. And from the first of all of your crops. However, uh, there's another meaning to this, and that is as follows. The Bible and the Book of Kings tell us the very, very uh, dramatic story of Naval. What's the story of Naval? Well, let me take a step back. There was a very wicked king, King Ahav. In fact, his wife was so wicked that uh, the name, her very name, became synonymous with evil Jezebel. Uh, Izevel is his wife. Anyhow, he has a neighbor. His neighbor's name is Naval. And his neighbor has a beautiful vineyard. And Jezebel, the wife of the wicked king Ahav, says to him, look, such a beautiful vineyard that our neighbor has, why don't we take it from him? And Ahav says, what do you mean? I know I'm the king, but I can't just take whatever I want from whoever I want. That's ridiculous. There's going to be a rebellion. So he comes up with a whole plot. He comes to the vineyard of Naval and he says, will you sell it to me? Naval says, heaven forbid, I'm not going to sell it to you. King Ahav says, you won't sell it to me? No. So Jezebel, his wife, convinces him to take false witnesses, bring him to court, and say that he committed a offense that bears the a car, um, bears execution. He kills him and he takes his vineyard. And Elijah famously comes to him comes to Ahav and says, Did you kill and also inherit? Now, why did Naval deserve that punishment? Yes, Ahav was a wicked person and he coveted his neighbor's vineyard, but why did his neighbor deserve such a punishment? And so the rabbis say one of the reasons that Naval deserved it is because he had a beautiful voice. He sang very, very, very beautifully. And every year during Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot, Naval would go to the Beit HaMikdash and he would sing beautifully. Everyone loved his songs. Then the next year, he knew everyone loves his singing. So he decided he's going to hold back a bit. He's going to wait with his singing. And only if people ask him to do it, he'll do it. All right. So he waited for people to ask. The next year, a year later, after everyone really enjoyed his singing, he waited for people to beg. And eventually he wanted people to beg so much for his singing that he stopped singing altogether. And the rabbis say his sin was he had a gift. What was his gift? His gift was the, is the gift of music, of singing. And so he was able to sing so beautifully, but he didn't share it with others. Kabedet Hashem Mehoncha, King Solomon says, if you have a gift, not necessarily money, if you have any kind of strength, the rabbis in the Talmud say it can be read as Honcha, your wealth, but also as your Oncha, your strength. If you have a strength, contribute it. If you sing beautifully, make others enjoy it. If you're an artist, give that art to others. Whatever it is that you can do to glorify God's name and to share it with others, you should do that. Don't hold it back from others. Kabed et Hoshem I'm going to actually read Rashi word for word here. You'll be stunned by what Rashi says. Kabed et Hashem me'oncha, mikol From everything that God gave you, you should honor him. Afilu mikol arev, even if you have a beautiful voice, even if you have a beautiful voice, that's enough for you to show Hashem your gift and to share it with others. So no matter what it is that you have, use your gift to help others, to give others, to glorify God's name. Kabedet Hashem me'oncha. What's going to happen if you do this? The pasuk continues, chapter three, verse ten. Vi malu asamecha sova. Your silos, your stashes will be filled with prosperity. And your vineyards will yield great results. And so sometimes we think, you know, if I give from what I have for free, then I'm going to become poor. No, it's exactly the opposite. If you give from what you have, if you are generous, if you are constantly trying to be selfless and give others, that's going to come around to you. I always speak about Rabbi Sachs and his example of the Wikipedia uh, encyclopedia and the uh, uh, the Carta encyclopedia. Microsoft launched a paid encyclopedia a few years ago, and at the same time, someone launched a free company called Wikipedia. And which one picked up much more? Wikipedia. It was for free. And so that's what the King Solomon is telling you here. 
give of yourself for free. Give of yourself to others. You don't have money. You don't have wealth. That's okay. Even your voice, if you have your voice and you sing nicely, give it to others. Let others enjoy. Make sure you enjoy. And then you have the story of Naval who wouldn't do it.